and I'm a clairvoyant psychic medium and spiritual healer based in New Zealand. Welcome! Cosmos of Bailey is a place where I put a lot of stuff that comes through to me, dreams, intuitions, healers, insights. It's a bit of a, uh, a place of many, <laughs> many things and something that's really been pressing on me the past few weeks and then I saw someone post about it and something else that I was also picking up and I thought, okay, I'm going to do a video on it, um, was being an active participant in your incarnation because there is a lot of energies opening up. Um, there's a lot of people that want to stay where they're at and they don't want to change and you have to accept that and let people do that. Then there is a big group of us that are over it. We don't want to play in that energy. We don't want to continue the same things. We want to change things. And it feels like, I don't know, I feel like Cosmos is really asking us, like, what do you want to do with the rest of your incarnation? And what what do you want to focus on? And where do you want to put your energies? And how do you want this to be? A lot of people believe that, there are things like controllers or whatnot of your life or there's stuff going on in the astral realm that's controlling you. First and foremost, if you feel like something is controlling your life or your incarnation, you, are you in charge of your aura energies? Have you cleared mother-father wounding? Um, have you exited out of dysfunctional family dynamics? Um, did you enjoy high school? There's all these things that can be attributing to you feeling like you're not in charge of your incarnation. And it's actually quite simple stuff. Um, yeah, and so Cosmos is sort of asking us, I think there's a big, it's almost like I think there was a big group of us and, and the energies just all of a sudden opened up and we're feeling the expansiveness and the vastness or the open doorway and Cosmos is like, okay, well, what do you want to do with the rest of your incarnation now that you're in this new energy? But other people, they want to close the door and they want to stay in the, in the stuckness. Um, and that is their choice. I did dream once of someone, a family member in the script. I was like, well, you know, if she continues to act like this, she's going to be remembered as a grumpy old cow when she passes over. <laughs> so you've got to, you've got to put things in perspective for yourself and how you are living out your incarnation and what you want to do. It's very, very easy in the earthly realm to blame something, um, or someone else outside of you. As to why you can't make a go of your incarnation and the earthly realm energies are changing and they are opening up and you a lot of us are getting given the opportunity to change the dynamic or the energy line of where we're taking ourselves um so and it just it honestly just feels like there was a door closed and now there's a door open and even for myself i'm like this is fast open space and I think all, a bunch of us are also actually really bored or we become really flat and then, but then there's this wide open space and it's like, okay, what am I going to do for the rest of my incarnation? And if you're feeling that openness and that vastness opening up for you, or you're feeling bored or you're, what do I, why am I feeling like, come on, I can do better than this or, you know, that type of stuff. Um, you can probably step into new energies and do something completely different or completely upgrade what you were doing if you are feeling that and the energies will be open to you. And this is why going to see a psychic or someone can be really beneficial because they can help link and bridge you into these ideas um, and get you working on higher energetics in your life. And it is very expansive and open. So this is where the honeybee energy comes in of the divine feminine because the divine feminine offers creativity, flow, abundance, but that comes from your creative energy and you choosing to do things that are pleasurable and enjoyable to you because there's so much more to abundance than just financial. You first got to get abundance within your spirit and find your joy and pleasure. So that's the divine feminine. So that's, um, for example, um, with my, with a client, um, he was a builder and oh, when we did all these, all this healing and whatnot and cleared out all this energy of, that was sitting around him, he realized he was a bit of an artist and that he actually wanted to go into lux luxury building and design. And that was his sole pleasure 
and his soul desires. And so he aligns himself with something more expansive and more creative and more open. And so it begins to work with you in the earthly realm. And that's the divine feminine honeybee energy. You've got to find the sweetness and the pleasure and the joy in what you're doing and be an active participant and aligning with stuff that you want to experience. And um, if you're feeling heavy in your energy or whatnot, or, you know, if you feel stuck or stagnant, you could just need a little bit of an energetic opening or whatnot. And that's why there's that life force um, healing energy meditation and what it is. Just so, yeah. And people make up so many excuses as to why they can't make a go of their incarnation. Oh, it's entities. Oh, it's demons. Yes, these energies exist. But you are still here in the earthly realm and it's up to you and how you're going to experience it. Yes, there is people in power that are so unconscious. <laughs> and But they also have had past lives and there's just so much more going on than what you can conceive. And that's why I don't subscribe to mainstream media. I look at it and I see what's going on. I'm like, okay, that's really interesting. But that's not going to govern my entire earthly experience. So you've got to be listening to your soul and your creativity and your intuition and where that's guiding you and what you want to do with the rest of your incarnation because things are opening up and we are leaving and moving out of that old world medieval consciousness but a lot of people are choosing to stay in there that's when there's lots of war and manipulation and control and domination of the old world masculine ego and that's dropping off big time and it's like a dissolving off of consciousness almost and then we have this higher um, feminine energy coming in. And then this is when the, the old world business mentality starts starts to dissolve. And, and the old world business structure or mentality of the hustle bustle or whatnot starts to dissolve out and stops working. I dreamed um, the last four years of a lot of social media influencers or people who have run businesses online of those collapsing in or just not working for them anymore because... It's running off of the old business mentality. And so you're going to have to come in and infuse your business with your higher creativity and intuition to get it flowing. Again, that's what you want. You want to get your life flowing in a direction that brings you pleasure, joy, happiness, and creativity. Creativity doesn't mean you're going to be, you have to be an artist or the next designer. It could just mean you create a new business or you create a new in-home childcare. It doesn't have to be, it has to be something that's going to align with who you are as a person. Um, and so that's what's called being, being an active participant of your incarnation. Because no one is coming to do anything for you. <laughs> um, it's very disempowering. And it's very disempowering to blame and shame. And, you, and no one's going to come and live out your incarnation for you. So you've got to be the one to decide where it's going and what you want to do with it, and then start aligning with those energies, because you've got one incarnation and one incarnation only with the changing energies, so what do you want to do for the rest of your time here? Um, yeah, and even for myself, I'm feeling a little bored, and just like, um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, there's just a lot of ideas that are opening up that I want to go and start or go and have the experience with. Like, I want to go um, try my hand um, at interior design and start a beauty consulting business as well as other things um, because I love beauty. And in a lot of my past lives, I haven't had the opportunity, I'm very vastly aware of it, to explore things like beauty and interior design and all this feminine stuff and it is like my soul is itching to get out of that old energy and do something more exciting and creative and flowy and yeah you definitely got to listen to the soul to be the active being the active participant in your soul incarnation because you're the one that's here no one's coming to do anything for you you're in the earthly realm, and so you've got to decide. Okay, I think that's all I've got to say. But it's very important that you choose where you're going and what you're doing. 
and you're choosing for yourself and you're not letting one incarnation, one go of it, what are you going to do? <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching and I hope that was helpful.